it continues with oh this is this is a nice touch too. from one to another passing the torch yes and a proud brother it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so Ken Shiro wasn't the only fight on the card. You know, uh, we had an interesting fight in the co-main event and I was really excited to watch it because I've been following this, this fighter for, a couple, for like four years now. And he doesn't really get talked about enough because he kind of in the shadow. Of his, he really is in the shadow of his brother, and that's Takuma Inoue. You know, the the, the brother of Nayoa Inoue. He had a fight that we talked about here on True School Sports uh, for the vacant world title that his brother vacated from being undisputed to move up to 122 to fight Stephen Fulton. He was fighting for the WBA title, and he was taking on um, you know Liborio Solis. You know, veteran fighter, 41 years old, been around the block, uh, challenged for the world title on a couple of occasions. And it was, listen, this was not an easy fight for him. You know, he won the fight. The result of the fight was a Takuma Inoue unanimous decision. But this was a hard fight for him. I mean, early in the fight, I thought he was giving away some rounds because Solis was able to um, really close the gap and, and, and just work and, and be that volume puncher. And... Annoy wasn't getting out of the way of the punches as much as you, you would have liked early on. Then to make matters worse, early in the fight, he suffered the first cut in his career. And it wasn't it wasn't from a head clash, it was from a straight right hand that landed. So it was you know so Lee's came to fight. If this if this was gonna be his last chance at a world title unboxing, he definitely made sure, you know, early on at least, he made the most of it. But ultimately, uh Takuma Inoue, I thought did a great job of settling down, boxing, moving his head, um, uh, being the master of positioning in the ring, uh, landing landing counter rights, uh, changing his attack and his combinations, things like that, and and you know, I think he was able to really exploit the fact that Solis was an older fighter, and not just that, but that Solis also uh, punches a lot, and he punched in between the shots and was very uh, intelligent with his counter punching, and I think those things were the difference in the fight. And, and now, Takuma Inoue, at least at least for today, at least for today, I know it's hard because Nayawa Inoue is such a f giant figure in boxing and and I can only imagine what it's like in Japan to be known as, as his brother and not really kind of have your own identity of your own. But at least for him, right? Like if he doesn't if he doesn't accomplish anything else in his career, he he can always say he was champion and he was no slouch. And, 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 and that's great. Um, He's not a bad fighter. I've, I've always liked Takuma Inoue. I actually thought he should have been champion years ago because I thought the fight with um, Nordinu Bali was kind of close. And I thought he, he he did enough to deserve a decision, but they didn't give it to him. Um, doesn't have the power of his brother, Nayoa, but makes up for it in a major way with, with, with a great boxing brain, uh, counter-punching abilities, timing, punch placement. These kind of things make him a top-grade fighter in the Bantamweight division. And now he's a champion, so let's talk about what could be next for Takuma Inoue, because it was crazy. Even in the post-fight interview, imagine, imagine you've been grinding your whole life to become champion. And um, in the post-fight interview, you're still talking about your brother. You know, uh, he said in the interview, he said, uh, you know, I I'm the brother of Nayoa Inoue, and that's something that I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to live with for the rest of my life. So he, he kind of knows, like, this brother's a once in a generation type fighter. And uh, it's gonna be hard to ever, you know, shed that label, but I think he did a great job today. Um, he's an interesting division now because his brother vacated the belts when he became undisputed. The belts are fragmented, so he's the first fighter to actually get a belt um, that, you know, to get one of the belts that his brother vacated. He has a WBA title. Now, when we look at the rest of the division, um, very soon, I can't remember which card it's on, but very soon, I think it's on the Jason, no, no, it's on the Johnny Beck versus, who is he fighting? Who the heck is, Stephen Butler card. On May, in May next month, Johnny Beck's gonna fight Stephen Butler. On the undercard of that is Jason Maloney versus Vincent Astrolabio. They're fighting for the vacant WBO. Uh, Emmanuel Rodriguez was was uh, ordered to fight Melvin Lopez for the IBF vacant title. That'd be a good little fight. Melvin Lopez, local fighter down there in South Florida, Nicaraguan, Southpaw, former, former Romo Gonzalez sparring partner. Good fighter. Gonna have his hands full, Emmanuel Rodriguez. You know, you got him. And then you got um, 
the, the, the WBC, you got uh, Donaire. You know, it look, look, looks like Donaire is number one. And then you got like, uh, I think it's Rungvasai. You got Rungvasai there, I think, right? I think so. A, di a different Rung not Not Rungvasai that knocked on Rumble Gonzalez, but a different Rungvasai. So right now, the division is sorting itself out. I think Takuma Inoue, based on the current landscape, he, he can hold it. He, I think he'll, he'll be able to hold on to that belt for a little bit of time because he's a very good boxer. He showed that he's tough. He showed that um, he's got a great boxing brain on him. Um, you know, I look forward to seeing him, you know, be in these unification fights with the likes of guys like, you know, maybe Astralabio or Emmanuel Rodriguez. You know, I think I think those be, be some good fights for him. But um, today's his day, you know, and I think people need to start taking notice of him because a lot. Of, um, Stephen Fulton said it recently about his uh, Nayoa Inoue. He said if if Inoue didn't have power, he wouldn't be a great boxer. But honestly, I think if Nayoa Inoue didn't have power, he would just be Takuma Inoue because. Takuma Inoue is, you know, he doesn't have the power of Nayoa, but I think he's got one of the best boxing brains around these weights. He's he's very good about setting things up. He's very clever with how he sets his attack up, and and um, it showed today. It showed today in a major way against a guy that was extremely determined. Like 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 Solis knew that this is it. Like this is do or die. Like it's either all or nothing. I I gotta leave it all out on the line. And he and he, and he did what he could. I think, you know. At the end of the day, you know, it just Inoue was too young and too skillful for him. But he gave the best account he could of himself, and he did take him to some deep dark places early in the fight. So, I think fighters that fight Takuma for the title are gonna look at that and say, "We can do a lot of those things. We could, you know, the younger fighters. We we could exploit, you know, maybe the fact that Takuma doesn't have a lot of power, or maybe the fact that maybe sometimes when Takuma Inoue is punching you you can counter punch him you know you can sometimes uh muscle him around like nodina bali did at times when they fight fought so he's he's not he's not an unbeatable fighter but he's a very he's a he's a, he's a very solid fighter and i think um with 118 not really having like any a plus fighters he may have a chance to develop into something really really good and hold on to that belt for a long time but um uh, that's my thoughts on the fight takuma Inoue is champion so now the Inoue brothers are like the Klitschko brothers of the, of the lower weight class they're both champions and they're both making a lot of noise in boxing uh for Japan so shout out to them and it's always much love here from True School Sports to my Japanese viewers but uh let me know what you guys think what what did you guys think about Nayoa in or see see that I call him Nayoa in a way Takuma Inoue beating Lib Liborio Solis to become you know a champion himself uh, leave your comments down below make sure you guys Take the time to subscribe and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.